Thank you for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Our guest is Jerome Horton. He is the chair of California's Board of Equalization. That is a revenue agency, and yes. so you <laughs> collect the taxes, no doubt about that. I want to talk to you about the governor's proposed budget for yes. the upcoming fiscal year. Different times, no doubt. Yes. I mean, yes. I I is it different times? It is different, but things are getting better, Brad. The uh -huh. uh, revenue at the Board of Equalization is up, $53 billion last year, 56 this year. Wow. Property taxes up. Everything, all the signs are indicating that the economy is turning, turning around. Right. In our case, it's primarily because we've become more efficient and effective at what we do. Explain. We're, we're actually focusing on compliance, educating, helping businesses start and open and so forth. Sure. Recently. We eliminated the security deposit that was required for businesses in order to open a business. You had to put up a security part deposit. We eliminated that process so it make it easier for you to open oh, a business. Interesting. Yeah. The governor has proposed an increase in the general fund budget of about 8%. Mm -hmm. Now, revenues are up. I don't mm -hmm. know if they're up 8%. We do have a surplus. Mm -hmm. what, do, what do you think about his proposal to increase spending by about 8%? You know, Brad, if there was an increase in revenue, by 12%, then an 8% increase oh, in your see. costs would be smart. I mean, it's no different than mortgage in your house. Yeah. You're going to go out and take a loan and increase your expenses by 8%, mm -hmm. yet still your salary is still the same. Mm -hmm. There's a question about the wisdom there. The 8% should serve, and it does in many cases. I believe it mm -hmm. does serve to stimulate the economy. There's mm -hmm. no new taxes, but yet still uh, it invests in education, right. which is a good thing. No doubt. A little bit investment in reducing the debt, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. But we well, Let me ask you about that, though, yeah, the debt. Sure. Yeah. The governor has spoken about reducing the wall of debt. Yes. Does his proposed budget reduce it enough? Well, there's never enough. <laughs> right. in the debt, I hear you. You know, I hear there you. just isn't enough money to eliminate the debt now. So he's taking a, a stab at it. Uh, again, I think we go back to generating revenue, creating mm -hmm. jobs, creating opportunities, and so forth. It's where our primary focus has to be well, now. Well, I mean, I, I, I think, you know, increasing costs in other areas is something. Well, what you, you say know. there are no new taxes, and that's always good to hear as a taxpayer. Yes. But what about a cut in taxes? I mean, we do see a surplus, so should we be cutting taxes? Well, there should be things that stimulate the economy, and that could be tax credits, tax ah, incentives. I see. Those things so more that, targeted. More targeted tax, mm -hmm. tax cuts that actually stimulates the economy. Because you encourage a person to create a job, you're generating revenue for the state of mm -hmm. California. There is one area where the Democrats in the legislature would like to see a tax, I don't know if I want to call it an increase, but a tax, and that is oil extraction. Yeah, Almost every yeah. state in the union, including Texas, yeah. has an oil extraction tax. California does not. But as you know, the governor said that, that that's a non-starter. I, I know he did, but do, it, do you think you that know? was a wise maneuver on his part? So early in the game, right. you know, everything has to be on the table to protect California residents, to make sure that we provide the services to California residents. I don't know what they are at the end of the day, mm -hmm. but we can't take anything off the table. Everyone's looking at Prop 13, whether or not mm -hmm. we should increase mm -hmm. or change. Certainly not for the citizenry. I don't right. want my taxes Split going rolls. up. No, no, let's keep our taxes right. low, you mm -hmm. know. So uh, let's talk about Prop 13 in a sense. The governor has proposed, and this proposal has been floating around, that the threshold with which a locality would need to pass a tax would drop to 55% from 67%. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? You know, I, I think there's a lot of wisdom in, mm -hmm. in allowing the majority to decide the direction of their government. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, our government was founded on majority rule. Mm -hmm. So when you have a super majority, what you really have is a super minority that can stop the majority from acting. You. Okay, his yeah. name is Jerome Horton. He is the chair of California's Board of Equalization. My name is Brad Palmer. I want to thank you so much for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.